Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. So we look out at the sea of red that is so deeply entrenched into the culture of the English game. This indeed is Anfield. Bigger and better than ever before. I do hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. So it's away we go then. Jordan Henderson, Gomez. Jordan. Hen now it's Oxlade Chamberlain. Big chance! away Keita and he just whacks it away Henderson boots it to safety last ditch defending but that'll do and that'll be the last act of the first half so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means some first half thoughts. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side. It's come loose. And he just whacks it away. Piccini. Aimed long and direct. He's got away. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Referee has just said play on. And that is that. Liverpool claim one point on day one. It's a fair start. If you look back on the game then, Jim. Yeah, I think all's well that ends well.
and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena. Absolutely, he flies! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Liverpool head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were. Went in strong and he took the ball. Well, he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Going for goal! Really well taken goal! Finally, the deadlock is broken! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. So, the manager making the last of his changes. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. <laughs> Liverpool get themselves into the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extreme. Are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Shoots! Back of the net! And surely now, the results beyond doubt. Terrible error, duly punished. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Liverpool get themselves a two-goal cushion. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's good distance on it. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Liverpool come away with the win. A job really well done in all departments. A real sum of the parts team effort. And after all of that, Jim.
Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, the weather for it is forecast to be less than ideal. We are expecting intermittent spells of heavy rain, which just might impact on the quality of the football. I don't think it's going to be sufficient to prevent the football from being played, nor indeed has it deterred the many, many fans who are in here and already generating a terrific atmosphere ahead of the game, which kicks off any moment then. The famous cop is in good voice as always. It is one of the most recognisable monuments of the English game. <laughs> Liverpool have gone 4-3-3. How do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. And that gets things running. Well, when it comes to history and rivalry, this is a derby with all the right ingredients. But uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Walcott. Some good stubborn defending there. He's got a one. Is it in? Goal! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to fight. And now the breakaway. Looks to clip it forward. Here comes the corner. Heads it! He scores! They have hauled themselves right back into it. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that match. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Look at the defender bombing forward. That's a throw. And the half-time whistle goes. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals. One each. See your views on the first half. It's been a really good watch, but I think the managers will be looking for that extra bit of organisation and focus now, just to try and get a little control on this game. Liverpool head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. Well, the action has already resumed here. Liverpool can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And he heaves it forward. Wait, nice clear cut. It's a free kick. And he has shown him a yellow card. Save, real class. Alexander Arnold is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. He's got up. Had too much on it. Liverpool opting to make a double change here. Mm -hmm. 
Mattel. No mistake! And again they hit the front. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Everton. Bernard. Hen there is the final whistle. Well, you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. The end of the game. Reflections. Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look... Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. So we look out at the sea of red that is so deeply entrenched into the... Sané gets it back. Firmino tries to stroke it through. Can he put it away? Goal! And Liverpool score first. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. Liverpool draw first blood here. Now it's Sterling. He's got away. And it's half-time. And there we are. Off they go for half-time. The great move did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half interception. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Has he picked him out? He's gone for it! Good stop. That wasn't easy. 
The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Manchester are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the car. Great leap! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. A more than decent attempt, Peter. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? He's left his man. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. That's a fine save. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Almost nothing left on the clock here. The undefeated end. Now it's Sané going through. Sané, Sané, has a swing at it, it's there, tying minutes and we're all square again. Sterling with, and the referee brings it to a close. Passion and panache and perseverance and in the end parity, a really good game to watch. So what do you take away from it all Jim? Yeah, this looked the most likely outcome. Hello and welcome to everyone settling in for this game. Liftoff wasn't quite achieved as they had envisaged on day one, but one point is better than nothing. It was met with a mixed reception, but it's certainly given them something to build upon. Much now hangs on what they can achieve in the second game. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Liverpool had a stuttering start. They'll need to do better now. Well, Peter, the groups aren't really going to take shape until, say, the fourth or fifth games. But... Oh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service... Oh, Red, he's sorted that out. He's in! The very whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. A 
And it would take something pretty special to beat the keeper from this far out. There's going to be a change now with the ball out of play. Liverpool opting to make a double change here. That is simply superb! About as smooth as it gets! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Liverpool get themselves into the lead. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good... This isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Oxlade Chamberlain is on his own. It's a... Is it in? Oh, that is very close. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Paris Saint-Germain reacting swiftly in the wake of conceding that goal. Yeah, and that's not totally surprising. The manager obviously felt his defence needed reinforcement. He can't afford a, a repeat. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, but that was enough.